Road of the Sea is a feature documentary film from Chan Film Productions and Visual Arts, created, produced, and directed by Geni K. Pirish. Being Cape Verdean, our identity is constantly challenged. Road of the Sea is an important documentary film that has garnered much interest in the descendants of the New World. This film connects you to the history of Caverdi Islands, where Africa ends and the New World begins. Connects with both African American and Hispanic history. also includes discussion of Caverdian captains and their transatlantic voyages. Cape Verde Islands is not very well known to the world. Antonio de Noli was the official discoverer of the Cape Verde Islands in 1460. And later, in 1462, he became the founder of the first Cape Verdean society in the city of Ribeira Grande, today Cidade Velha, on the island of Santiago. We have to go back in time a little bit to understand the beginnings of the history of Cape Verde. I think probably one of the best points is in the year 1394, when Prince Henry the Navigator was born in Oporto, in Portugal. At the age of 25, he came down to the Algarve, started a famous school of uh, Sag, the first navigational school in the world. And Tone Denali as captain governor of the islands. brought in the people from the Algarve and Portugal. He civilized the island. A former Portuguese colony, independent since 1975. However, the Cape Verdean society existed for more than five centuries. Why did Cape Verde Island become the first slavery port? How do people in our society currently view the slave trade? Cape Verde was in a strategic location in terms of the slave trade and what that meant for slave transportation to the New World. Cape Verde served as a point of departure, a place where uh, slaves would be prepped. The 
next 32 years, I went around the world countless times, meet people, see other cultures. But the objective was always to come back to my native island, Bravo. Ernestina does its successful transatlantic voyages from the Cape Verde Islands off the coast of West Africa as a cargo and immigration ship, beginning in 1948 under the ownership and command of the captain Enrique Mendes. It was Captain Mendes who renamed the vessel after his own daughter, Ernestina. Mm -hmm. 